Hey, Chuka, good putting my brains to use on the advocate. That's for sure. I can't say the same for many of our skilled and gifted Nigerians, though. And the utilized brains in Nigeria, it is a human nature to move from one place to the other. Most will want to return to their roots, but quite a few may choose to make a new area their home. Some find themselves in a foreign land through special programs created by the government or institutions. Others emigrate on social or family grounds or due to certain difficulties, war or situations they find themselves in. Brain drain. This is a time coined to describe a process in which a country loses its most educated and talented workers to other countries through migration. It is mostly movement of individuals from developing countries to developed countries or areas of more favorable geographic, economic, or professional environments. But why? To mention a few, some of the reasons include seeking for better quality of life, employment with higher paying jobs, prestige of foreign training and intellectual trainings. In the past, to date, many Nigerians are seeking shelter in other countries due to security reasons, lack of basic infrastructures or facilities, or political instability. There is some negative impact, such as shortage of important skilled workers and professionals, loss of innovative ideas, potential future entrepreneurs, and the country's investment in education. However, there are benefits. Immigrants acquire new knowledge and skill, and it enhances brain circulation. In any case, Nigeria need to take action to utilize the situation positively. And most importantly, make use of the many brains still in the country. Today, there are many first class graduates and professionals who are underutilized or not employed. Stakeholders and responsible parties need to strengthen existing research institutes and establish more use our foreign missions to know the capacity of our citizens residing outside and promote collaboration. Stronger commitment from those trusted with power and authority to embark on multidimensional approach, invest in infrastructure, create an enabling environment, utilize the brains in the system, use those in the diaspora positively, make citizens feel safe and have hope in the economy. Mm. Still brings us back to all we've been discussing. Mm. The country is not ready to receive anybody that it lost. Mm. So when, so <laughs> if they go there and have better training and everything, they can't come back mm. because we're not ready. To but we, we happened, it happened in 2015 in this country where they selected, they found the best brains in Nigeria mm. in different global institutions and mm. brought them together to form a cabinet. Where? I think that was under the Jonathan government, right? To form what, yeah. like a committee of the cabinet, think tank. The, the ministers then. We are, we are, most of them were among Nigerians' best, okay. whether in finance or um, agriculture or um, um, communications. I think Nigeria then was in the news for a lot of positive things. Okay. Um, Nigeria was one of the fastest growing economy then. Okay. There were lots of things rebased. that happened. Okay, I think I know. After what the economy was rebased. Yeah. So I'm, I, what I'm trying to say is that right. it has what, happened when people that left to empower, improve their brains, okay. that Nigeria sought after them yes. to tap from the knowledge that yes. they gained. To but bring we need them back. But, but, we don't but, need to lie on. On, on those at the top positions. Yes. Okay. We need it from the ground. ground yes. yeah, I, 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 yeah. To some extent, I, I, the, the problem here is we have not even utilized the ones we have here. That's why. And so that's why, for me, I agree to some extent that white people, you have more of Nigerian doctors in Saudi Arabia than you have, you know, in um, that you have Saudi Arabians as doctors there. Really? Yes. Mm -hmm. And then I thought of South Africa. No, in Saudi yeah, Arabia. Saudi Arabia. Nigerians. You have a lot of Nigerian doctors. Even in, there okay, even in South Africa. Do you, right, do yes, you yes. know that you have more of Nigerian nurses in America in oh, yeah. than yeah. say the any other, Niger other, other, other tribe? And, and, and so because not necessarily because these these people hate their country, but they want the better lives. They want opportunities. Precisely. And, and so when your country can't give you these opportunities you're consistently going to lose your best hands Correct. to these countries. Mm. Now, 
uh, Britain is talking about Brexit, but here they are creating opportunities for Nigerians and other to, countries yes, to, still you know, come, to come, in. come in. Yes, Canada, do you know that the number of Nigerians that have left Nigeria between 2015 yeah. till now to Canada is unimaginable? Yeah. Yeah. Because this opportunity, this countries provides exactly. opportunities for them. Mm -hmm. So there were times where we had the uh, school exchange programs where we will send our students to other schools. China, Indians, and some of these countries will send their students to come learn here. But unfortunately today, we are not even, our, our research institutions are more like uh, houses for reptiles now. Mm -hmm. They are non-existent. And everything now has been reduced to politics mm -hmm. and government. Mm -hmm. That's the best way to make mm -hmm. money. And we think that if we continue on this trajectory, mm -hmm. that five years, all these uh, laudable programs that will talk about vision, this vision, that, that you'll be achieving. The basics, until we learn to understand the impact of human capital development mm -hmm. in any nation, we'll just be deceiving yeah, I mean, I want, to, I want to come in on that we because, can't. you know, a lot of times I hear discussions and I don't want to detract from what we're saying, where they go on about the population. But I said population will never be the problem. It's the fact that we haven't managed our human resource. Mm -hmm. The countries that are looking for, like you mentioned, that human resource. Mm -hmm. So, and then, you know, also to buttress what uh, you, the point you were making, and I think Libros was also making, which is that you don't necessarily have to go and be wooing the ones outside to yeah. combat. The people here, how yes. are we engaging them? And then this is where my issue comes with mm. the advocacy duel, is that at the end, we always seem to be looking back to government. I think at some point, we need to make up our minds that government, at least for now, is not interested in doing the right thing. And maybe it sounds radical. And then say, what can we do amongst ourselves to network, to provide these opportunities for people? Because I came across a young man who is doing some networking among the youths in, in the technical space. And it's yielding great dividends. So we, who are maybe these NGOs, people like Victoria and, and the people like that, who can collaborate with other people and, and create an enabling environment. For, let's stop thinking of government for now. Let's, let's, in a way, make them redundant so that they don't think that they're so vital they can be giving themselves life pensions. Let's create our own collaborative yeah, yeah, measures the, the to sector, engage our youths. But the private sector needs to work harder. And uh, I, I, I'm not even blaming government. That is the private sector yeah. I'm talking about. We need now. to work harder. We mm. need to, you know, create rewards for intellection. That is what I think is missing in our polity. Yeah. The private, you see, most of our big corporate giants in the country, what would they rather put their money on? They might the rather put their money on entertainment, entertainment. than on so education. That it will produce, it will generate more. Yeah. So if we move, bring in, if we continue that shift uh, until we get to that point where rewards, one of the rewards they put on entertainment, they can shift it towards education, where a young man can easily find scholarship. Yes. Look like at all I, the foundations I, 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 of all the corporate. Yeah. I have sought for educational foundation in this country. I don't want to mention it, but there is no entity that has the word foundation attached to it that didn't go to, I didn't get because it was for education. Okay. But you if I see, wanted it to Victoria, shake my body and my hips, maybe I would have Victoria, gotten money. Okay. What Kenny is saying, I, from, I, th I think yeah. I quite agree with you. This entertainment we're talking about, even sport, there were times in this country where companies would not touch okay. foreign sports. Okay. Nobody would touch it or sponsor it. There were times in this country where entertainers were any next to nothing. Next to nothing. But it took the private sector to galvanize it, you know, promote it, and take yes. it to the level yes. that it is now that it's now sure a big time foreign enhance. Yes. But also, if we can look at some other sectors, and even health, when the government institution failed, we also saw, you know, private sectors colla collaborating. That in some hospitals now tell you that they would sell bed spaces like you sell hotel, uh, rooms in a hotel, and people are actually paying for them. Okay. And, and so, if private sectors can come together, create, let take a sector yeah. and say, let's find a way of governizing this yes. and making it that cash cow like entertainers have done to their section yes. sector. Because if we keep looking at this government, government it's not going to happen. Because someone went, I'll just give you a yeah, reason why. Nigeria's priority, priority, priority list, if one priority list, education, health, No, 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 health, I, you know what you're well, saying. Why would we put well, he's entertainment, he's telling, entertainment No, no, he's telling you why no, because entertainment, because people, entertainment is attractive. People, it has people been made attractive. People created it. Yeah, it has been made attractive. And then they made it attractive. So anybody, attractive anybody that wants to sell now believes that the easiest way I can sell Education is let me, this, this has been made attractive. Mm. You know, once you that's, are... That's why I'm, I'm going back example, to my former like, point. We need to make education in particular. I, I read one of your articles mm. yeah. where you were talking about school fees between even these, the um, mission schools in Lagos and the ones that none of them is cheap. But you find out that people decided to, you know, put in some form of effort mm. 
to say let us even invest in this sector. Mm. Otherwise, if we didn't have this, some of these private schools, my sister, mm. the blow now would have been, yeah. you know, it's it it You know, but I, we still had some cushioning. So if all of us at a different local level, forget government, say, look, you know what? Let's put all efforts. Do, do, I don't agree with you because in Rwanda, hmm. people are withdrawing their children from private schools and going to public schools. Yes. 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 As long as there are private schools, yeah. the public schools won't function. No, no, no they will. will. We need the private schools for now. Hmm. But we need to stand up and push. We must have public schools to develop because chunk of the population are those that can only afford private institutions or hmm. private schools. Public, sorry. Public, exactly. Not, not private. Hmm. Yeah. Right? So if we don't fix that, it's going to be catastrophic yeah. sooner or later. So, so we're with you. So we're with you in that. And again, to add to that point, you find that NGOs or private organizations, they will want to make some uh, maybe uh, programs. They give big amount of money as a prize to, to someone who had something to do with entertainment. However, they give some parts of Milo or Indomie to those that actually the cut education. their head in educational yeah. uh, competition. So, yeah. no, it's, so it's in line with that, we it's need true. to get. Efficiency is the bridge between available resource and increased value delivery. After the break, a Kenes advocacy seems to be saying that we are more efficient or effective when we stand as one man. Few will argue with that.